Livia Hooker was the first African American woman to join Semper Paratus Always Ready, SPARS, in the U.S. Coast Guard. Before she was elected into the Coast Guard, she was rejected by the Navy due to her race. She broke a barrier by being the first African American to enroll for SPARS. When Olivia joined, she proved an important point that women of color should be treated equally as any other person. It's not about you or me, but it's about what we can give to this world, Olivia Hooker. Olivia Hooker was one of the last survivors of the Tulsa Race Riot on May 31st, 1921. The Tulsa Race Riot is a riot that allegedly started when an African American named Dick Rowland was accused of assaulting a white female named Sarah Page. This caused a white mob to go and burn down her neighborhood, community, and local businesses, including her father's clothing store. Olivia Hooker had a rough childhood. She recalled her childhood as being the catastrophe. She was only six years old when she witnessed the Tesla race riot. When Olivia's home was attacked, her mother told Olivia and her siblings to hide under their kitchen table. This is what she stated in an interview with the Washington Post about the Tesla race riot. They took everything they thought was valuable. They smashed everything they couldn't take. My mother had Caruso records she loved. They smashed the Caruso records. She also recalled hearing her sister's piano getting crushed with an axe. They later moved to Columbus, Ohio, and she was so traumatized by this experience that she struggled to sleep in her new home. It was horrifying for a little girl who was only six years old trying to remember to keep quiet, Olivia stated. Before the race riot, Olivia grew up in a safe community and had hope, as should anyone at that age. The day of the riot, things were no longer the same in her case. And so when this terrible thing happened, it really destroyed my faith in humanity, she said, and it's like a good long while for me to get over it. Olivia Hooker enrolled in SPARS U.S. Coast Guard. She enlisted in the Navy, but was denied because of her race. This was a racial barrier she faced. However, she did not give up. Olivia wrote a letter to the Navy asking why she did not get accepted to the Women's Reserve. When the Navy wrote her back, they stated that they were not commissioning any men or women directly from civil in life. The letter that was written to her was written by James Forrestal. Seeing that Olivia had faced racial problems while she was very young, it was said that she dedicated her life to serving the needs of her country. With this barrier in front of her, she took another path, SPARS. Olivia had also joined a sorority, Delta Sigma Theta. While in the sorority, she advocated women to join the U.S. Navy. I thought, well, it's a shame to battle for our civil rights and have n no one to take advantage of it. She says, I thought if I go, if I survive, maybe someone else will come in. Not only did Olivia Hooker face a racial barrier, she also faced a gender barrier. Women cannot be in the Army, Military, and Coast Guard. This military policy has long kept women out of the military by banning them from artillery, infantry, armor, and other combat roles. Women were first allowed in the military in 1917. The main reason the military did not allow women in combat units is that having mixed genders in small groups for long periods of time could create inappropriate relationships. Soldiers could lose focus on work, so having all one gender, mostly male, they did not have to worry as much. During World War II, many women started to volunteer. This act helped the barrier be broken. After facing racial and gender barriers, Olivia broke those barriers by becoming the first African-American woman to serve in the U.S. Coast Guard. The U.S. Coast Guard Women's Reserve was a branch in World War II. SPARS was established by the United States Congress and President Franklin D. Roosevelt. The Coast Guard recruiter was just so welcoming, said Hooker. She wanted to be the first one to enroll an African American. They were known as SPARS. The purpose of SPARS was to take the place of the men that were stationed on shore so that those men could go out onto sea. Due to Olivia's bravery and dedication, the Coast Guard named a dining hall after her on Staten Island. 
She was a national treasure. She was a very special lady, Coast Guard spokesman Barry Lane said. Olivia wanted to voice what happened to not only her, but her community during the Tulsa race riots. With the letter Dr. Hooker and some of the other survivors, they will not allow this to rest. The aftermath of this led Olivia Hooker to be one of the people to work on the Tulsa Race Right Commission in 2001. In 2003, she was one of the plaintiffs to file a lawsuit against the state of Oklahoma. The purpose of the commission in 2001 was to have victims of the Tulsa Race Right explain their story and what they witnessed so people could get a better understanding of what happened. Olivia Hooker made an impact on many lives. Young African American girls can now not only dream about joining the U.S. Coast Guard, but serve vital roles, including leadership in it. Olivia Hooker did not just fight for her rights, she fought for the rights of every other little girl who dreams of joining the Coast Guard. I would like to see more of us realizing that our country needs us, said Hooker. I would like to see more girls consider spending some time in the military. It's a good idea to have people from different kinds of orientations and experiences because it's amazing what you can do with a different point of view. The world would really prosper for more of that. She knew the importance of being able to join the Coast Guard. Her legacy will live on forever and will always be cherished. Barack Obama gave notice to Olivia in a speech at the United States Coast Guard Academy commencement on May 20th, 2015. She was also recognized by getting a Good Conduct Medal, which is a medal given for exemplary conduct efficiency in Philadelphia, or who honorably completed three years of active service. Olivia is also very appreciated for being actively involved in raising the American consciousness for the Tulsa race riots. Through her work in the Coast Guard and with the Race Riot Commission, Olivia Hooker broke the barriers that prevented her from accomplishing her dream and inspired many people of the future generations.